listening to the Rolled Out of the Show. Welcome everyone, Mate Talk Time. So good to be before you all. Hope you're enjoying your week. Um, hope you have an awesome drink before you. What is Mate Talk? So let me just reel back a little bit. Look at this video. This video has really popped, which I'm so, it's so exciting to see. Um, as a result, I've had a, a, like a increase when it comes to subscribers coming on board. Um, it is attributed to this particular production. So if, if you haven't seen it, check it out. If you have seen it and you're here as a result of it, what is Mate Talk? Mate is a South American drink, which I'm from Argentina. We thoroughly enjoy. Mate in Australia means friend. So Mate Talk is friends having a conversation on all things niche perfumery in this case. Now I've got, a, if I could pan down what you would see, I've got perfumes everywhere here. One thing that I'd like to do is to find out what you're drinking. So I'm moving across to get myself aligned. Um, what you're drinking around the world. This is the tally from last week. And look at Mate. Boom, baby. Not bad. I am, so normally coffee, uh, beats us at the uh, at this game but not this week or not last week so uh, I'd love to know what you're drinking I do a tally at the end of the month we'll reveal who is the winner all the coffee is so for the coffee drinks out there yes you guys are the champions but we're slowly creeping up on you Mate is slowly creeping up I've also had this subscriber I need to correct this and that is Mate is not coffee I'm sorry to say it's like saying um, that a plane and a train are the same thing. He's not. Because, well, you know why. <laughs> I'm going to explain why. Um, two different, uh, yes, they're modes of trans transportation, but they're two different things. Same with mate. It is not coffee. I'm so sorry. Mate is mate. Mate is divine. I always think that one day maybe I should have like a mate brand, you know. And if see mate, um, it'll never happen. Just heads up on that one. Uh, but anyway, sometimes I entertain myself with these ideas. Um, last week, I mentioned that Kevin, my good friend from Oligarch Boutique here in Melbourne, and I have, we've started a new business called K&M Touring. If I could capture it in two words, luxury experiences is what it's about. Watch this space, we've got some ideas that we're brewing. And the first idea that we've sort of rolled out is the France Perfume Experience. For those people who might not know what this is about, this is an, an opportunity to um, be in Paris with myself and Kevin, we'll host you. It's a six day event. You're gonna see behind the scenes, we're gonna meet with perfumers, we're gonna meet with brand owners, we're gonna do master classes, we're gonna experience and delve deeper when it comes to these beautiful brands. Two brands that have jumped on board and supporting us is Javoy is one of them, beautiful Parisian brand. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them in just a second. And the other one is Sordor, and we're gonna do that in grass. If you're interested, we are closing the door. We've got two spots left, and we are closing the door on the 1st of June. So if you wanna know more, click on the link, boom, boom, or below, I'll put a, I'll put a link so you can have a look at that. Boom, let me move on. Hello. Um, one of the questions that I asked last week was, who is, who is Batman? Um, a lot of people say that Kevin and I are like the dynamic duo, and so therefore Batman and Robin. Uh, so I asked the question, well, you know, who is Batman? Is it me or is it Kevin? Now, I didn't say to Kevin, uh, you know, I'm gonna do a Latino Batman, you should do a Vietnamese Batman. He actually did it on his own accord, and it just turned out that we both did very, um, our own ethnicity. That's not how you say it, excuse me. <laughs> my brain was going, you say that word, and my, my, my other part of my brain going, brother, you don't know how to say it properly, so don't say it, but I thought, yeah, you know what, we just jump on in. Uh, but you know what I mean, so um, Kevin went very Vietnamese Batman, I went the Latino Batman, and I asked everyone to vote as to who would be the Batman. And uh, Kevin came in with seven votes. Congratulations, my friend. I did have a home advantage and I came in with 12 votes. Have a look at this picture. I thought to myself, I mean, Kevin's Vietnamese Batman was pretty gangster. I mean, he was pretty awesome. So how about Kevin, you be Batman and I'll be Superman. Boom. I mean, at the end of the day, and I've put these two guys over here, he normally sits on my desk. Um, so I, I, I do feel like, you know, so he's like, he gives me a bit of, the, you know, strength. You can do it kind of vibe. Um, so I'm happy to have, I'll be Superman. I'll take that. 
I'll take that one. And uh, Kevin can go ahead and be Batman. Uh, and we can still be the dynamic duo, bada bing. Now, um, so for those who are new to Mate Talk, they're like, I don't understand what's going on. What's this got to do with perfume? Nothing. It has nothing to do with perfume, just for a little bit of fun. Um, but the tour, the France Perfume Tour, has everything to do about perfume. And so we'd love to invite you. If you want to come along, please join us on that. Excuse me. Let me show you this sample here. This is by a brand called Astrophil and Stella. I'm going to tell you more in just a second. And this sample here is a new fragrance that they've released called Shanghai 1930. When I was in Exxons, I had an opportunity to, I got a few of these samples. This one hasn't been opened, it's sealed, okay? Took a lot of willpower not to open this one also. I've gone through the others. Took a lot of willpower not to open this guy um, because I'm gonna give this away to somebody next week as I do the raffle for Let Me Send You Something. Those who are not members of the channel, if you'd like to be, this is how you do it. Hit the join button. $4 a month is the, and you can come in, come out. You don't have to, I mean, if you want to just come on in for a month. I do want to acknowledge these individuals, these gangsters, I was going to say. Uh, one thing that if you, if you do want to support the channel, and I'm appreciative of those individuals who are, uh, you'll see that the icon will change. So as soon as you subscribe, you get a, uh, or become a member, you get a yellow, then it goes to green. And recently you've had these awesome people, and I salute each one of you, They've gone red, meaning that they're now at the six month mark. So thank you. Arigato goizamasta. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. I do, I, I do appreciate it, very much appreciate it. Now, if you are interested in sponsoring, not sponsoring, if you are in, um, wanting to become a member, uh, what I normally do, and the money that I use, I actually, it's actually spent on posting. <laughs> Because the, the, that $4 actually goes to fund the sending these, these parcels out. Um, some places in the world, are, it's not cheap. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and also in getting these samples. So I ask the question, what fragrances do you like? I'll then add three or four, actually the last one. Actually, it's been going up. The first it was two. Uh, it, the, the last parcel that I sent out had four. This one will have five. So I'll make sure that there's um, two nice samples in there, plus this guy here. And I ask the question, what fragrances do you like? And then I will recommend some for you. Boom. So I'm going to do that next week. So if you want to become a member, jump on in, boom, and I'll um, send that off. All right, let me move on. I'm going to take a small drink. I'm going so far off right now. One thing that I do is that this is one continuous roll, meaning that I have to keep my brain in check. Ooh, stuttering there. Keep my brain in check. So if I make a mistake, either I just shrug my shoulders and keep moving forward, or I have to reshoot. This is, let me just say, take five. So this is my fifth time going at it because because if I stumble too much or anyway, I won't go into it because then I'm gonna this will be take six. So no, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I want to talk about the so today's start again. Normally I ask everyone, tell me what you'd like Mate Talk. Mate Talk is for you guys. So you tell me what the theme should be. Last week I had a question asked. Uh, I mean, I'm just getting into Zergeoff. What would you recommend? I put forward some recommendations. So uh, what I'd like, yeah, so if you've got any questions or anything that you'd like to know, just let me know. Uh, if, it, if it's something that I can help out with, then yes, that, that'll become the theme. Today's theme, something I've been thinking about for some time, and it's all about perfume brands that we don't have in Australia. Recently, when I was in Paris and also had the opportunity to go to Exxons, I purposely looked for these brands. Um, and so I've got them in front of me here and I want to put them on your radar. So this is almost like a, the movie trailer for what's about to come out. You know, coming out in July will be uh, a much deeper conversation on each of these fragrances here. But for now, I'd like to put forward these particular houses to you and uh, certain brand or certain fragrances that I've actually picked out from their, um, their collection and I want to put them to you, go out and explore them, but I promise that I will do a much deeper reviews in the coming weeks. Boom. All right, so let me begin. One of them is, so I, I'm actually looking at them. Which one do I start with? Um, so let me start with this one, Javoy. Uh, I've always known about Javoy, uh, Oligarch Boutique, through Kevin. They have it there. I, quite a while back, I was introduced to psychedelic, beautiful patchouli fragrance. Have that one 
thoroughly enjoyed it, but I didn't take the time to explore the rest. Because of this um, Paris tour that we're doing, Javoy is one of the, the key supporters of this tour. And as a result, I've dived deeper when it comes to their, their collection. And I regret for not jumping in earlier because one, the prices, the fragrances are really well priced. That's one. And two, the actual volume that they have when they project and their sillage and their longevity is phenomenal. And actually, and three, they're very diverse. There's something for everybody in that collection. What happens sometimes, I get swayed by bougie bottles and the bottle is very minimalist. It's a very you know, straightforward sort of bottle. But if, if you feel this, if this has happened to you, excuse me, I've got a bug in my throat, I think. If you feel the same way, can I just say, go out and test these fragrances. They are really, really exceptional. Uh, while I was in Paris, I actually had an opportunity to um, buy a few <laughs> of the fragrances from them. This is one that I'd like to recommend. It's a brand new one. It's called Musk Palace. Well, now I'm in my brain. Musk, oh, about to restart. No, no, it's all good, we we'll keep going. Uh, it's called Musk Palace. <coughs> I do have something in my throat. Excuse me, everybody, so sorry. And it is a wonderful, they, they use the term silver musk, meaning that it's a synthetic based musk. Sometimes we think musk as an animalic component. This one here, uh, well, uh, this is not synthetic, it's actually ambret, so it's, it's using a plant-based musk. The one thing that I, when I first spray this, I get this wonderful musk component to it, but with a slight vanillic tone and a fruity vibe to it. I love wearing musks, especially like ambrettes or white or a, or a white musk, because it amplifies me, it amplifies uh, mixes in with my own body chemistry and it gives it a whole new twist. I've been wearing it today, excuse me. And it really, this is like a clean skin, but there is a, I was gonna say vibrance, but it's not vibrance. It, there is, it's a clean skin, it's vanillic. There, it's just beautiful. It's just, I mean, the, the best way to describe, think of a white shirt, um, sunny, light coming through the window, slight breeze. Boom, this is this is this baby here. Uh, I think this would comfortably wear superb on a woman. On me, it works magic. I've been wearing it, very much enjoy it. The perfumer for this fragrance is Vanina, and she is the perfumer for a lot of the Javoy fragrances. If you wanna meet Vanina and go to her atelier in Paris, Join us on the France Perfume Tour. This is the other reason why I wanted to bring up this guy here. So this is the new fragrance from Vanina. Uh, anyway, but Javoy as a brand, put on your radar. It's really impressive. I'll be talking more about them in the coming weeks. Excuse me again. The next one. This is called Rhodes. The brand is Rhodes. They're based in Ireland. They've got really impressive collection. Sometimes what happens is that I've, I've got friends who like, I like what you're doing on the channel, blah, blah, blah. I like perfumes, what would you recommend? And so as I start showing them, they're like, oh, how much is that? And I say $500. And their eyes go, Brr. think of the cartoons. Um, and especially if you've come in from designers across, now we've got one, a retailer here in Australia that is like a discount designer place. And sometimes they sell perfumes at $60. Uh, look, let me, let me, just a footnote on this. Um, if something is so cheap, there's gotta be a reason for it. And so, I'm, and even if it's a, like a brand, like, you know, but this is, you know, I won't name brands, but this is such and such brand. Um, yeah, my problem with that is that I'm a, I am a little bit suspicious, meaning that maybe that is old stock or maybe it's been, I don't know, sitting in the sun in some container. And so as a result, the, the volume of that fragrance isn't what it should be. Anyway, I guess what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, people who are brand new to niche, they come from that designer sort of field and they come across to, to niche and they go, $500, but you know, what? that's like a crazy amount of dollars from 60 to 500, of course it's a crazy amount. Um, so if you are new to niche, check out Rhodes as a collection. I feel that they're really well priced, but their fragrances not only are unique, but I find that their longevity, their volume, their presence is pretty impressive. They've got three different collections. This is part of their core collection. This one is called This Weekend, 
and I think the name encapsulates what the fragrance is about. Think of awesome week, Saturday morning, you wake up, again, I'm gonna give you the same scenario, sun coming through the window, the, the days ahead, uh, you know, you've got an awesome weekend planned, and it's that brightness, that joy, that happiness. I'm wearing it right now. This fragrance here, everyone in my family is enjoying it, whether the, the girls or the guys. It has a beautiful, it has a, like, a, I looked at the notes. When I sprayed this, I was convinced it had like a black currant fruit note in there. It's not there. What it does have is a mandarin and a bergamot, but I get this beautiful fruity vibe out of it. Um, it does have like a jasmine in there. Maybe that's creating that, all that blend is creating that sort of indolic sort of, no, but it's not indolic because it, there, it's not animalic in any way. It's not heady. It's, it's, it's very vibrant. It's very happy. It's a very happy scent. Excuse me one second. Goodness, I'm falling apart. No, I'm good, I'm good. Keep going, I'm Superman. Um, so this fragrance here, I want to put it to you in that, the, actually the collection, sorry, my brain went, where am I going? The collection is really impressive. Very, I think as a, if you're new to niche, there's something for everybody. They have the Asia collection. Wait till I talk about them. Um, uh, I really love fragrances that are, are intimate. I mean, I do like ones that project, but sometimes you, you want something that is intimate to you. The Asia collection is glorious. And they've got another one, which is the Africa collection. It's not what you think, or well, not what I think. When I think of Africa, I think of resinous, woody, rich sort of tones. No, this is light, bright, happy, you know, vibrant sort of fragrances. I spoke about Afropolis in my recent uh, boozy fragrance. If you like gin in your, like a gin note in your fragrance, you need to check this one out. Longevity on this baby is spectacular. But I, look, if you're new, if you want to check, uh, test it out this weekend, spray this. You won't be disappointed. S super joyous fragrance, very happy, very vibrant. But I'm going to talk more about these guys. Surely, excuse me. Oh my gosh. You know what it is? I'm going way too fast. Slow down. I think about you guys. I think, you know, you don't want to sit here for seven hours listening, listening to somebody rambling on. So I apologize. I'm trying to keep moving faster. Right? I'm going to keep moving through this. All right. The next one that I want to talk about, and this now brings into light this sample here, which is the Shanghai 1930. By the way, this, the, 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 the um, style of fragrance that this is, is a black tea. But with this fruity component, if you like Wulong Cha, this, I don't want to say kills it, no, no, but really impressive, really, really impressive. Wait till you smell that, you're gonna love it. All right, Astrophil and Stella is the brand. They're actually Italian. The name's unusual, I have to be honest with you. Uh, it's one of the fragrances that Oligarch have, and this is how I put it, put it on the radar for me. What I love about these guys is that they partner up with master perfumers from around the world. This one here is called Amber Leavable, and the perfumer is Luca Maffei. Look at my favorite, uh, for those who may have missed, I actually had an opportunity to go in his atelier, so um, AFM, so Atelier Fragrancia Milano is his uh, perfume lab, essentially, where he creates fragrances. Um, he's the perfumer for this fragrance here. When you think of amber, well, well, when I think of amber, I always think of it very rich, um, very warm, winter style, spicy notes, vanilla, no. This has a brightness to it. It has a balsamic um, twist to it. There, there is a lemmy. There are some incense notes in here. It gives it a dusty sort of smell, but it, those, that familiar amber warmth is definitely there. But this is one you can comfortably wear in summer. So sometimes I find that for me, amber fragrance is awesome for winter. This is one. It's amber leavable that this could easily work as a summer fragrance. Look at my fay, incredible perfumer. Astrophil and Stella, I'm gonna talk more about these guys. They have a really impressive collection of fragrances. Doom, doom, doom. All right, let me go to the next, next one. There's a scene in Donnie Dark, or the movie, um, where there's like this, uh, this, uh, like a, a water flow that comes out of people's chests and sort of navigates around. 
Um, for me, I always took that as that there is that all of us project some kind of energy. And I also believe, in my opinion, that places also radiate some kind of energy too. Some, some people are going, what are you talking about? But it's, think about it. Sometimes you meet someone for the first time and I don't know, there's a connection. You're like, well, I like you. you know, there's, so what is that? I mean, what, what, you don't even know who this individual is, but somehow there's this energy that, that's transferred between you that you feel good. Sometimes it's the opposite. You're like, I don't know why, but I don't like this person. You know, and one, again, nothing is said, but there's something there. And I find that a place can also do that. Sometimes I walk into a venue. Um, for me, restaurants is all about, if I walk into a venue, and I feel the vibe and I don't feel good, I'm out of there, you know? Anyway, I walked into Pierre Guillaume's boutique in Paris and instantly, I mean, I had, a lot of subscribers had been talking about Pierre Guillaume saying incredible perfumer, incredible range of fragrances. We don't have it here in Australia, so I, I didn't know, I hadn't smelled any of these, but as soon as I walked into that boutique, there was something there. I'm like, well, this feels really good. I then had the privilege of speaking with Julien. If you've missed out the, the, um, the, the, the Paris boutique video that I did, check that out. Check the, the part out with um, Julien. He was incredible, gracious with his time, meaning that I literally walked in, I said, hey, look, this is me. I'm a, you know, I'm a, a YouTube guy and I do videos on niche perfumery. I mean, he could have told me to you know, get out. I'm not interested. Uh, instead, he said, sure, sure, let, you know, let me help you out. And then he said, do, do you want me to be in the video? I'm like, yes, because I'm not going to be able to explain it as well as you. And he was very gracious with his time. Now, as a result, for those who may have watched the making of, there's a scene, there was a part in there where I asked Sandra, my beautiful wife, how did I go with my perfume budget that, I, that she gave me? And she said that I killed it. <laughs> and I did. Um, and a lot of it went at, in uh, this beautiful store here. So I... I'm gonna talk more about these guys. I've got some uh, videos coming up. This one here is called Monsieur. Now, the black collection, and as Julien explained so beautifully in that video, these are all factory photos, meaning that the name instantly communicates what the fragrance is about. Monsieur is a well put together man. All right, so I love wearing this fragrance as my suit up, tie on, uh, going to a meeting, there it does. The key of it is that it's aromatic woody fragrance. There's a subscriber, Sean, talking about you, my good friend. You're gonna love this. Wait till you smell this, baby. Boom. I mean, this is uh, from a lot of comments that Sean has written. He likes masculine, leaning fragrances. Doesn't want any florals in there, anything of that nature. But look, the, the other thing too is that this is not a fragrance. So there, there's a terminology called beast mode, and I, I have maybe one or two beast mode fragrances. The reason why I'm not a huge beast mode kind of guy is because I like perfume to be the mystery of me. Uh, meaning that as soon as I walk into a place, I don't want to you know, instantly be everyone going, whoa, who just walked in? You know, I, I can smell my perfume. Um, I do like it when people go, you know, we're having a conversation and someone goes, mm, someone smells good. And you know, it's in that moment that I'm like, I know it's me, I know that I'm, not, I'm, I'm so cocky. I'm like, yeah, smell me, it, I know it's me, you know? Um, and it's not arrogance, it's just, I just know that the perfume I'm wearing is really, because I, I purposely choose it for that occasion. Anyway, another story. So this one here, my editor, my camera person's about to walk in. Still filming. <laughs> about to talk. This is take like five, so I'm still going. <laughs> We're still walking in, all good. All right. So what I like about this guy, okay, so beast mode, I was saying. Really, you're gonna come in, this is my wife. <laughs> you don't want to come back later? <laughs> you said four o'clock. Look what I gotta put up with. <laughs> I know, but I'm running late. Now I'm gonna have, because I can't, this is one continuous roll. I, gotta, I, I can't do a cut. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna be professional about this. I'm gonna cop it later. Anyway, like I was saying, the um, Monsieur olfactory photo. What I love about this, aromatic woody, cedar wood, patchouli, vetiver, has this wonderful opening. It just, it just brings you in very quickly, but it sits so beautifully on skin. I mentioned before about being beast mode, and I'm not a beast mode kind of guy. 
This, and the funny thing is, it's not a beast mode fragrance, so it doesn't have this massive projection, but it sits on me all day long. And secondly, when people, and I'm saying like, I don't know, maybe a meter apart, two meters apart, so I'm not, I'm not saying someone has to come in for a hug and hey, how you doing? Just sitting side by side. And it's happened to me a few times already where people go, whoa, what are you wearing, man? It smells amazing. And I, in, in that moment, I naturally go, what are you smelling? And they're like, I don't know, this beautiful uh, kind of masculine, kind of cedar, kind of uh, aromatic. It, Monsieur, you need to try it out. Something really spectacular. Pierre Guillaume, the collection is phenomenal. Wait till you smell that. I'm going to be in trouble because I can, that was my beautiful wife. She was coming to do some filming, but uh, I'm going to keep moving. All right. The last one? Oh no, second last one. This is Renier. I, so again, through Oligarch, they've got the Renier fragrances. I had an opportunity to actually meet Renier, who is the perfumer for most of these fragrances. This is a new one. It's called Musky Rain. And I love that on the bottle it says, Naughty Intimacy. This is, so where Musk Palace is uh, a musk that amplifies you, that blends with you, creates this new scent profile, slightly fruity, a little bit vanillic, but very musky ambrette. This is more of a um, animalic, floral. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So what he's used here is daffodil or narcissist. Narcissist or daffodil. And he was saying that the narcissist flower is really, really hard to, to, to put into a perfume because too little and you, it's not that detectable. Too much, it becomes very animalic. It has an animalic component to it. Here, there's just enough that you're getting the sort of yellow floral component of it. There are, there's a little bit of animalic. He does have civet in the base, so it gives it a bit more of that sort of uh, animalic vibe. But on skin, there is a floral, musky tone to it. There is a sweetness. This is a, a sensual fragrance. This is for date night. This is, this is not uh, just a, a day to day, go to the office kind of fragrance. Day to day office kind of fragrance is this one here, beautiful. This one here, you're stating your intent um, as you wear this baby. Now, oh, it's, I mean, when you first spray this, this is, and it's got a slight animalic sass to it. It's glorious, really impressive. This is a new one that's come out. Renier as a, as a house overall, really ex exquisite fragrances. He's got one that I fell in love with ages ago. Excuse me, my mouth. One that he felt that I fell in love ages ago called Cacique. Now Cacique, so Renier is a South American man. Where's he from, Cuba? Ooh, I'm gonna put it here, I'll, I'll uh, mention where he is. Um, now, cacique is a South American term for the, the leader of a tribe or leader of a, the, the, the group. My grandfather, we used to call him the cacique. Um, he wasn't the, the official like a native American, native South American Indian person, but that terminology like chief basically um, is something that we use within Argentina. And yeah, my grandfather. So this, when I saw the name cacique, I thought that's, you know, it was, I don't know, I, I, I loved it. So. The whole Renier brand, fantastic. I'll talk more about these guys. Really impressive fragrances, but this is a new release. I'd, I'd really encourage you guys to check that baby out. Now, last one. You guys have heard me talk about Paris Monte Carlo. I am a huge fan, as you know. So you think to yourself, well, that's not a new brand. But one thing that we don't have in this country, which I was so surprised that they are, I'm gonna classify these as new fragrances. So I've got the black collection, the Italian collection, all that sort of stuff but the extraits is not something we have here in Australia. And I thought to myself, it's, you know, so I've got um, Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee. And I thought, man, it's the same thing. Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee, the, um, I think it's the, this is the, my camera, I now realize that when I've exceeded a particular point, which is I think 28 minutes, it's like, dude, shut up, you've done too much. So I apologize, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. Um, so I've got the Ylang Ylang Nosy Bee as an Eau de Parfum, which I absolutely love. And I thought the extract was the same thing, not the same thing. The Eau de Parfum I wear. I love wearing it. It's got a slight yellow flower, chocolatey vibe. The extract 
There's no way. This is so sensual. This is so feminine leaning. This is so uh, seductive. Uh, this is, uh, so Sandra's been wearing this. My daughter has also been wearing this. Forget about it. This is incredible. Completely new fragrance. This is a completely new fragrance. The one that I've been wearing today is the vanilla, the new one that's been released. This is pure magic, slight floral, vanilla tone, woody component. It's so complex, bouncing around everywhere, but magic. So if you get a chance to, again, Paris Monte Carlo, glorious fragrances, really impressive collection. Videos coming out this weekend on the, 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 the filming that I did alongside Carlos at Exxon's. The vanilla, you need to check it out. Really impressive. You'd be in Surprised. Anyway, that's it. Boom, 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 boom. And we're all done. All right. Thanks so much. Oof, that was a long mate talk. I am so sorry. Um, there's more fragrances. I've got one off the side here, but you know what? That gives you a good indication of what's about to come through in the future, um, the upcoming episodes. So I've got a, a beautiful collection from each of these houses and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing with you. Um, I don't hear a lot about, and the reason why I wanted to show these, I don't hear a lot about these fragrances um, from other places. Uh, and so I wanted to put them on the map for you, for you guys to check them out. So when I start talking about it, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna go. Goodbye, everyone. See you all in the next month of talking.